I've done my research, guys. So let's get into the review. He thinks it's a four leaf clover, but that's not a four leaf clover. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. My name's Kinsey and I'm one half of the sister duo over here. Today, as you can tell, one, we're in kind of a new space. So these are the new couches. I'm kind of in love with them. We're also very comfy today for a couple of reasons because normally when I pop on here, I have my lashes on and my hair is done, but I have surgery in a couple of days, so I'm trying to pre-film something so you're not going two weeks without anything. So by the time you're watching this, I will be completely down and out for the count um, with my tonsillectomy and adenoid adenoidectomy. I'm getting my tonsils and adenoids out. In this video, we're going to do one of those little mashups again because I'm missing my teacher vlogs. But for the first half of this video, I'm going to share a new planner that I got and I'm basically just going to review it for you guys because I've always been a planner snob and I've always spent way too much money on planners and this one is an absolute steal. So I'm going to do that first, share my tips and tricks, um, how I stay organized, color coding, all that fun stuff. So if you're here for that, you will not be disappointed. The second half of this video is going to be more about the first day of school. I've been getting questions about what do you actually do the first day of school and for me the first day spans almost the first three days so I figured that I would throw that in here as well like I mentioned earlier I will be having surgery and it even just hurts to talk right now but I will be having surgery this week so you will be missing next week's video um, the only way that you're not gonna miss it is if Maddie has something up her sleeve not nah, fam sorry fam y'all are not gonna see anything from me until my Disney videos come out which is mid to end August so sorry trust me you're better off it's okay insert Madison with something up her sleeve <laughs> that was so not worth it <laughs> uh, but other than that I will see you guys the week of the 20th. My challenge to you is during the week that I am laying in bed in absolute pain and agony, I would love for you to go and find your favorite video on our channel and comment below um, what your favorite part about it is because I'd love to answer those comments. Lastly, before we get into this video, super long intro, but our giveaway, I have a strong feeling that we're gonna break 2,000 while I'm in recovery and I'm okay with that. So I have enough time on my hands to get my giveaway things together. But I'm very excited about that, so keep sharing this channel with your friends. I'm getting new followers every day um, into the teacher community, so it's really exciting. All right, so for a little background, um, since my senior year in high school, I've used a planner. I still have my senior year high school planner. It was from Walmart. It's lime green. Um, <laughs> but I, as a type A person, really need a planner. I've done my research, guys. And I came across this company called Jadelyn Brook. It is actually three sisters, Jade, Lynn, and Brooke. And I, what I love most about them is that this boutique has a bunch of different things, but these planners specifically were designed by these three sisters, and it has an emphasis on self-care and setting goals and meeting those goals, but keeping it fun. So I wanna go ahead and show you what this planner looks like, but first let me show you the packaging because this is so cute, and it says the world needs more of what you've got, Jade, Lynn, Brooke. So let's get into the review. It comes with one of these, kind of like a thank you letter. As you can see, there's some Sharpie written down here and up here. And it says, thank you so much, Mackenzie, for ordering with our family. We hope all of your dreams, goals, and wishes come true. Love, Jade. P.S. I included some fun free stickers with an initial for you. So I got two additional sticker sheets, and they come in your planner too, but these are different. So fun, so different. Then I got one of these, which is like, it says strong, empowered, fearless, resilient girl. And then this is their store, so they sent me a sticker with that on it. It says the Three Happy Hooligans by Jade Lynn Brooke. And then this is the initial she was talking about. It's this fuzzy, stickable initial. It's so cute. Again, not something that's me, but I'm trying to go outside of my comfort zone, especially during a time when we can't really 
go out of our comfort zone. So that's all the extra stuff that they sent me that I definitely did not pay for. Here's the planner. Some of you, as soon as I threw this up, you were like, that is the cutest thing ever. And some of you were like, ew, floral. Same. Um, I'm not a floral gal. I'm not a bright colors gal. I am becoming a bright colors gal, but floral is still a no. So the reason I got this, they have three planners. Two are floral. And then one was this like insert picture. It's like a Pinterest collage empowered women sort of deal. I wanted it so bad. It sold out so quick. The print's a little bit growing on me. Maybe I'll just give it some time. But here's the front. It has, you can't see, but this metallic 2021 on it. It's an 18 month planner. So it's going to start in August for us. And then it's going to go all the way through before 2022. It has a super cute band to keep it closed. I'm not gonna show you every single page in this planner, but I am gonna show you some highlights. At the very beginning, it has this cute little name tag that says the next 365 days belong to, and then it says time to make it the best year yet. So this is where you can put your name, your contact information. For every month, and this is before like some of the cool pages, um, you'll have this quote page, which some of them I want to get recopied and blown up for my classroom. This is one of my favorite activity pages. It's the birthday section and it's all Polaroid pictures. I'm addicted to Polaroids. It's, it's honestly a problem. And when I saw that, I was like, I must have this. Then this is where you start your actual planner. So it says time to make some big plans. This is by far my favorite month's headers. So this is August, and you can see it's so pretty, and August does the same thing. And that comes before every single uh, month, but in a different themed way. Um, going into September, this one is super cute. It says reasons to smile, so you fill in the little pie chart there with your reasons to smile. January is by far my absolute favorite um, activity before the month, and this is a vision board. I do vision boards with my kids, but this one gave me so much inspiration. It says, things I'm gonna do better at, new skills I wanna learn, places I wanna go. March is absolutely adorable with these little coloring pages. I said I'm not gonna show you every one, and I'm not, but that one's really, really cute. They also give you a summer bucket list, which you don't even have to fill it out yourself. You can add in some things. And something I love that they end on is the 22 before 22, so goals that you would like to achieve in 22. And then back here, it says my best moments of 21. But the attention to detail in this book is unmatched. You need this in your life. And in general, you need a planner in your life. If it's a Lily Pulitzer, if it's an Erin Condren, if it's a Jade Lynn Brooke, passion planner, digital planner. So I got some questions about my planner or about planning and organizing. My first question is from Hannah and she says, do you use the same planner for everything, including lesson plans, meetings, personal life, etc.?" Yes and no. Um, I do not lesson plan in this planner just because there's no space and I do a lot of brainstorming and stuff before. So everything lesson plan related is digital and I can share that with you in a different video. Um, but I do put everything, anything possible that I could want to go to or have to go to is in here. Um, I also color coordinated. Taylor asked, how detailed are your lesson plans now? Um, my lesson plans are very brief. Um, it just has the, the bare basics, like what are the objectives, what are their learning goals, um, what are they going to do, one, two, three, four, five, and what materials do I need. The last question I have is from mom to these three and it says, how has the planner helped you with virtual learning? I teach science at South Garner. That is so exciting. Love South Garner. The planner will help me. I did not have a planner this past semester. I did do a digital version basically of like what I was doing Monday through Friday. So in a sense I had a planner but it was not physical. Um, this planner would have helped me or a planner would have helped me because I would know personally what I needed to get done that day and professionally. Uh, if I had Zoom meetings, because there were so many Zoom meetings from staff to department to with children to so on and so forth. Now for the second half of this video, I did say in the intro that I was going to be talking about the first day of school. I completely forgot that I was going to tell you about my tips and tricks for this. So, and that's going to take me a hot second. Uh, so the next video that you will see will be the first day of school walking you through it because like I said, I do almost three days for the first day of school, closer to two and a half. Um, and I don't want to rush that. I want to really explain that and give you some tips and tricks with that as well. So we're going to save that for next time. 
All right, these are my rider dies, and <laughs> they're the Bic highlighters. There's nothing special about them. They're super cheap. Um, you don't have to pay a ridiculous amount of money to get your hands on them. They're at Walmart. I need to put you onto these for multiple reasons. The first is that there's no reason for you to overpay for highlighters. Other brands will have you paying a ridiculous amount of money for the same highlighters. Two, if you're an English teacher or you're just a teacher who uses highlighters for whatever reason, you have interactive notebooks or you yourself use them, you're gonna go through them anyway. And there's the same amount of ink, most of the time less ink, and there's more expensive highlighters. So just listen to me, purchase these, you will love them. I have a color coding system. This is my number one tip for you guys. And my color coding system is quite easy. It's been the same since I was a freshman in college. So for my pink, this is anything academic, an academic night something that I need to remember um, when I was a student for something that was due. Now as a teacher, it's remembering that I need to grade something or grades are due a certain day, whatever the case may be. Now that I am an adult, <laughs> everything that is in green is financially related, whether it's paying a credit card, whether it's paying a bill, whether it's don't spend more than this a month, anything related to my finances is in green. As a coach, and just as a teacher in general, um, I keep track of all athletic events. And for me also, because I'm a coach, I keep track of all of my practices, camps, performances, competitions, everything like that. So that is what yellow is for for me because our team is purple and gold. But in the past, it has been blue. So that's where a shift for me has happened. With yellow being my new athletic color, blue is now my professional color. So if I have any professional development that I have to go to, if I have a staff meeting, if I have a PLC meeting, all of those lovely meetings um, go in this blue color. There's no rhyme or reason to it other than that yellow is now being used for athletics. And the last one is orange. I use this one for personal appointments, events, whatever, because it just really grabs my attention. It's so bright. I mean, ridiculously bright. If I have a doctor's appointment, if I have a family event to go to, also all of my YouTube deadlines are in this beautiful, anything social media related is in this beautiful bright orange color because I'm terrible about getting Madison the film on time. So I always put it in orange during the school year so that way I can remember. Whether you're a student or a teacher, this is what I need you to do. And again, I'm gonna kind of talk to both of you right now because I know that some students are watching this. So before you even start to fill out your planner, just to make sure that you have everything you need, I started doing this in college, I live by it. You need to grab every syllabus, or if you're a teacher, every class pacing guide that you have, like what you're gonna be doing. Every athletic events calendar, every school events calendar, any personal commitments that are reoccurring, like financial or YouTube for me or whatever the case may be, grab all of those calendars and put them in one place. So for me, when I was a college student, I go to the library and print all these calendars off. You're gonna wanna prioritize those from the most important to the not as important. So for me, I would always start with my class due dates. Any papers, any projects, um, any tests, all of that stuff went in my planner first. So talking to my teacher friends, what I would encourage you to do is to start with any academic nights you would need to be at, any really large tests that you know you're gonna have to create or whatever the case may be, um, projects, big units, if you want to color code that way. Then, because I am an athletics fan through and through, I love football, obviously have cheerleaders for basketball too. I then put all athletic events in my calendar. After you do any sort of athletic related thing or whatever your calendars go by, I then obviously do finances. So any of my financial reminders go in. Then I take any emails that I got. So at my school we share a Google Drive and most important dates are listed within a certain area of that Google Drive. So I could put those in there and have them labeled under the professional development. That's kind of how I structure mine and I go through every month up until the end of December. So I do the entire first semester in my monthly section. At the beginning of each month I take those monthly dates, I implement them into the week at a glance. So anything that was listed in the monthly, I can also see in the weekly at the very top. This is my third tip because you are not going to always remember to flip back to your month at a glance when you're looking through what you have to do for that week. My last tip when it comes to a planner are mini to-do lists. So this is what I do before the beginning of every week because it's something that I'm more aware of and confident that I need because if you do this too far in advance, your to-do lists are gonna be completely irrelevant. 
copies, notes for meetings, printing out things for parent-teacher conferences, whatever the case may be, all of those things are listed on the day that they need to be done. I always need space because you never know the day of something's gonna come up and you're gonna need to write it down in your planner. All right guys, so that is it for everything to do with a planner. This planner is my life, a planner in general. I hope that you found this video very helpful and if you did leave a comment below tell me what your favorite tip was tell me if you're implementing any of those tips I hope that you guys have a really great week and I can't wait to join you next time when we talk about all things first day of school and yeah I'll see you when I see you bye I gotta go get the water up oops they also give you a summit, but they also.